Grace, a junior class of 2017. Today is Monday, September 28th, and you're watching Cases on the Man. Attention seniors, did you forget to schedule your senior portraits? It's not too late. Go to www.prestigeportraits.com and schedule your appointment. Make sure you get into this 2016 yearbook and see Mr. J for more. On September 18th, Friday Night Live had their annual elections. The results are as follows. For President, Miguel Robertson. For Vice President, Bangalore. For Secretary, Jeanette Herrera. For Treasurer, Thonglor for Super Sub, Leticia Portillo, for Historians, Paco Garcia, Kanu Lee, Faith Felton, and Janine Lord. Thanks to all who participated in this very important election. Go Pacers! Hey Pacers, are you interested in running for this year's Homecoming Court? Applications are now being accepted for freshman, sophomore, and junior Homecoming Prince and Princess, and senior Homecoming King and Queen. Please pick up your application with Mrs. Acosta in E2. Applications are due by Tuesday, October 6th. Calling all clubs, academies, and sports teams. Would you like to participate in this year's homecoming parade and tailgate events? This year's homecoming parade will be Saturday, October 19th, and will kickstart this homecoming week. There will be first and second place prizes for the best decorated float or truck. The homecoming tailgate will be held on Friday, October 23rd, before the football game. This is a great way to raise funds for your clubs, academies, or sports teams. Please see Ms. Acosta in E2 by October 2nd to sign up for either event. This year's homecoming game is Friday, October 23rd, and our homecoming dance is on Saturday, October 24th from 7 p.m. to 10.30. Semi-formal dress code will be strictly enforced. No jeans, tennis shoes, nor t-shirts are accepted. You will be turned away at the door and will not receive a refund. Prices are $5 beginning October 1st to the 16th, 7 from the 19th to the 23rd, and $10 at the door. You must be able to provide your school ID to enter the dance. Please see Mrs. Acosta in E2 if you have any questions. Safe School Ambassadors are currently recruiting. If you are interested, you can see Ms. Sierra in the VIP office for informational flyers regarding the program. Also, any freshman students who went to the training last year at their junior high can let Ms. Sierra know so they can transfer straight into Pacers Ambassadors. Pacers, we will be having our first school-wide PSAT day on Wednesday, October 14th. All 9th, 10th, and 11th grade students will be given the opportunity to take the PSAT free of charge. If you have any questions, please see your counselor. Attention seniors, are you planning on attending American River College after high school? Would you like help making this transition? Apply for ARC mascot program. American River staff will come to Grant and work with you monthly and will take you on a trip to ARC in the spring. You will get assistance with the application assessment and enrollment process and to make value valuable connections with special programs and services on the ARC campus. Applications are available in the counseling office and must be returned to Ms. Brown by September 29th. Yearbooks are on sale for the lowest price of the year. Purchase your, your, your yearbook in the cable studio with Ms. Siobhan for $55 or $60 if you want a name stamp. Get them before the prices go up. Hi, I'm Dominic Carrera, here to go interview the Geo Academy. Let's go! All right, who are you and what do you do? Um, hi, my name is Imani and I'm part of the GEO SMUD program. Over the summer, what we did was we um, participated in an auditing conservation training. And so we learned how to save, save energy and also what things we can do to help save and what we can do to our school to implement it on campus so that we too can save money so we can use it towards other things on campus. All right. What ways can we save the energy? Okay, so ways that we can save the energy. So when the lights are on and you're not needing them, sort of like when you're doing the work, your working class and you have all the lights on, you know that's unnecessary. You can have at least half the lights turned off. And then also when the AC's on, don't leave the door open because all it is is making more AC push out and so it's wasting the energy. All right, uh, what type of training do you have to do to get 
use these gadgets? So it was a week-long training. Basically, some of the people from SMUD showed us how to use the tools. So right here is the tool that we would use to see how much lighting a room is getting. And so make sure to be stepped a little bit more back so that you're not casting a shadow because it can um, detect light really easily. And so shadows are really easy to be detected also. All right. Uh, anything else you want to tell to the student body? Um, what I would say is that please help us um, better our school and help us ha have more money so that we can use it on things sort of like, you know, field trips. Because, you know, everyone's always talking about how Grant doesn't have a lot of things for the students. And so that extra money could be used towards other things that the students may need or the teachers may want. All right. Well, thank you. Okay. Thank you. You have a nice day. And to you as well. All right, who are you and what do you do? Well, my name is Juan Hernandez and I am part of the Geo Power Safe crew and we are partnering up with SMUD to start a campaign here on campus which promotes good energy saving habits that not only helps us students but also the teachers and also helps us save money. How is it going to do that? Well, um, for example, one of our things that we're gonna do is um, put up posters um, next to windows, doors, switches to encourage students to turn off po um, the, the lights when they're not being used. For example, if you're not inside the classroom, turn them off um, and when you're leaving, basically. All right, uh, what are these gadgets right here? So the gadgets behind me are some of the gadgets we use to, um, to basically like ha do an energy audit of a classroom. So that's how much light is being um, projected in the classroom how much energy is being used by some of the appliances like overheads, um, computers, or mini refrigerators that some teachers have. All right, uh, what can the students do to help? Well, something that the students can do to help us, and, but more importantly help them, is to be open about the things that are, we are encouraging to them. All right, well thank you. Thank you. All right, who are you and what are you up to? Well, my name's uh, Ms. Tavares, and I teach environmental design as part of the Geo Academy. My background is in landscape architecture, and I teach the juniors uh, uh, and a handful of seniors about environmental design. What got you into environmental design? It, just the ability to address environmental issues on, on, in the environment, especially here in, in, the, in the high school level, how to address environmental issues and resolve them through d uh, creative design processes. So what is this new program that you're with? So this year, this is our third year partnering up with, uh, with SMUD. Uh, our students, uh, usually the seniors in the Geo Academy, seven to eight students get trained during the summer for a week-long summer, seven hours each day, uh, to learn about energy e e efficiency and uh, energy audit. They take these skills back to school. Um, they, they go to rooms around the campus and find the results, how can we save energy, create um, uh, comfortable uh, environments for teachers and students, and make it a, a better educational uh, area by seeing how to use better lighting and, and better AC units. Is there anything you'd like to add? That uh, we are in full blown, flu, full blown campaign. Our, our geo students, are the power saving uh, geo students, are going to be going to classrooms promoting um, healthy habits on how to save energy and create comfortable environments uh, for teachers and students. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. I just got done interviewing the Geo Academy. This is Dominic Carrera, reporting for GSPN, signing out. <laughs> Reporting for GSPN, I'm Felicia Moore. I'm going to go interview head custodian. Who are you and what do you do? My name is Jeff Moore and I'm head custodian at Grant West High School. What's your job as main custodian? Well, I'm a carekeeper of the whole school. I take care of everything from top to bottom. That makes sense. Anything we can do as students to help make your job easier? Um, yes. Students could be a little more studious of their area and their environment, mm -hmm. kind of help pick up after themselves and take better care of the place. Yeah, I agree. We need that. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Reporting for GSP and I'm Felicia Moore. Have a great day, Pacers. Well, this concludes your morning announcements. Pacers on the Mail is brought to you by Master Programming Network. My name is Grace. I'm Talvi. And on behalf of the Arts Academy, have a great day, Pacers.